Hi everybody, Nancy here. Today I'm going to give some tips to new users and maybe possibly some older users that may not have been around for very long. First of all, I'm Nancy. I'm just a user. I love Zoom Notes. I have been using it for two years and I am on a quest to learn everything there is to know about <laughs> Zoom Notes. I learn every day. So if you're new, please understand there is a learning curve and we've all been there, but it's so worth the effort. Please don't get frustrated when you try doing things that you see done by other users. First of all, the reason everybody's screen looks a little different, if you watch different videos by different people, it is 100% customizable. I mean, I can have a desktop that looks like this, but if I go out, I can create a whole new look. See workspaces? I can create different workspaces for different things so that if I'm drawing something and I only want to see the pen tools, I can fix a workspace that only shows me the pens that I want to use for that task or the the palettes, the color palettes. You know, you are in 100% control over how your thing works. I personally am the type of person that wants to see everything on the top. I want to see everything that I can do. I want it available to me as close to the top as I can get it. And because of that, I have things on my screen that you may not have. I think that when you first get it, you get the basic layout. And because of that, you're not going to see everything. Now, the up at the top, the double tools, the wrench, and the little hammer-looking thing, if you click on that, this is a list of, I think I pretty much have every tool on here. I may have checked a couple off that I knew that I would never, ever use. Like taking photos, I'm not going to take photos with my iPad while I'm doing something. So that may be something that doesn't appear here. But I, I pretty much have everything that's available on this screen. I recommend that, all right? But not everybody wants it. So you have to, you have to think, how would you use it? Now notice at the bottom, it says basic. If you click on that, see that took away a whole bunch of stuff. So... That is something that you need to pay attention to. And if you're an old user and have not noticed that yet, the, it's a link to what is, see, advanced. It's kind of confusing because you think, well, this is the advanced screen because that's the word down at the bottom, but it's not. It's a link to the advanced. So if you click on that, see, now you're looking at the more advanced things. <coughs> There's more options here. But if I click now, if I link to the basic list, now I only see these things. So that's one reason why you may not be seeing what was there at one time. If this thing says advanced at the bottom, you need to tap on it and see everything that's available. And that happens throughout the different menus now. So be aware of that. If you're new or an old user, you need to, if, you, if you're missing something that was there before, it's because that's checked, okay? Back to the new users. Hang tough. Go to, and I'm going to put a link to the developer's website, I mean their YouTube channel. You want to watch those. Another thing you want to do, if you are a Facebook user, you want to definitely go onto the help the unofficial zoom notes help group i think is what it's i'm called. not on youtube so i can't remember exactly how things are called search for zoom notes in the facebook groups and you want to go into that group and ask your questions the developer is there if you're having problems he will see that there are problems that exist he when people ask things he might recognize it as a bug or he might recognize it as you just don't know where it's at yet. It's there, you just aren't aware of where it is. 
And there are people, tons of people that take great pleasure in helping people. So that's your first source is to go to the help. Now, there's actually a Zoom Notes website. I'll put that in the description as well that you can go and ask questions. But I feel like they're, the most people are on Facebook, but that is an option. You can go to the Zoom Notes website and ask questions there. There's also another group on um, Facebook called I Did This Using Zoom Notes. Now, that group was initially created for sharing things that you've done because there's so much that you may not think of. I personally created that group, okay? So I know what it was for. I don't know how it's being used now. Now, my videos are from a novice user. Yes, I've been around, but almost everything I show, it's it might be new to me because things change over time. Like he'll, intro he'll introduce things like the Dutch door. And as soon as I learn how to use a Dutch door, I'll do a video. But over time, he has improved the Dutch door, how to create it so much that my videos back then were no good. So, But I had to stay up with the times to <laughs> when, when he does a new release and it's changed over time, you want to learn how to do it again. So it's always, always an improvement but it keeps you on your toes. You know, you can't get frustrated if something doesn't work exactly the way it did two weeks ago because it got better, it got easier, and he's added functionality over the last two weeks, whatever. You know, whenever there's a new update, you wanna be aware that things are going to get better. So <laughs> I love his updates. And this last update that we just had, he has added help to contextual help. So if I click on a menu, the selection menu, say, you see over to the left, those little question marks, if you tap on those little question marks, they'll tell you what that does. And if you click on the little camera to the right, that takes you to a video of him using that that thing so um paste he'll he'll talk about it and show you it being used okay so you want to take advantage of that and that little camera doesn't show up until you click on that question mark so know that those are there new and old users okay and i could sit and watch those things all day long just because i like knowing you know, I, I know that he has not done all of the videos yet. And I think there may be still some, some question marks that need to be put in. He wanted to, he had done enough that he wanted to release it. Go ahead and release it before the end of the year. Phenomenal. Oh my gosh. You want to take the time. If you don't know what something does, look. Just look at the little question mark and see. And maybe by the time you need it, there'll be a video. Now, I don't know that he's going to put videos on every single word that he's got here. But um, you want to take advantage of that help because that, <laughs> you just don't know how wonderful it is to have those little help question marks there now. Okay. Things about my videos that I've pretty much stopped doing the basics. I have videos that talk about the layers, how to use layers and how they work. Now, please understand that if it's not exactly perfectly right now compared to what it was back then, the differences aren't so much that you should be able to pick it out, okay? He may have changed a name or something may not be there that was there. And if ever you have a question, ask it. If you see something on your videos, I mean, on your screen that's not on my screen or vice versa, it's usually vice versa, then just ask. There is a lot to know, but you don't have to know it all at once. That's what I'm trying to get across to you is that 
I used Corel Draw for, well, from version 1 through version, I think, 11 or 12 before I stopped using my iPad, I mean, my um, computer altogether. But I never, ever, ever used everything that was available to me. And you just have to understand that learn what it is that you want to do. Learn that very well and don't worry about the rest. Now, th as you go along, there's going to be things that you want to do that I bet you Zoom Notes can do for you. Transparency is one thing. I used to pay a subscription every year just to make things transparent and make them into ping files. You don't need to do that. Zoom Notes does that. You know, so there are things that you're going to want to know how to do that you may not know currently that you want to know how to do it. I just wanted to give you some encouragement and help you to see that, yes, there's a learning curve, but he has made it so that even the newest of users can do what they want to do with it. Unfortunately, there's people like me out there that's showing other things that can be confusing, and I get that. So, um, I don't know. Just hang tough with it, and if you subscribe to my videos, know that I am not an expert by any stretch of the imagination. I just share what I love, and... <laughs> <laughs> when you see some of the crazy wild things that you can do in Zoom Notes, it just will blow your mind. Now, round tables. You may not ever, ever need a round table, but to see it in use is like, wow, <laughs> you know, look what it did, you know. But again, and, and a lot of things I will learn and play with and use for about a month and then it's like, okay, I don't need round tables, you know, and I haven't, I haven't created one in forever. If I do, it's not to use, it's just to show an example of something, you know, but if I need a perfect circle that's got columns in it, that is the way to go. So, um, I hope that I've made it clear that yes, there's a lot to know, but there's places to go for the answer and learn as you go you know don't get frustrated because you can't do something immediately it's not made that way <laughs> it's very simple to do what you're trying to do it just may take a minute to figure it out or to find somebody that can tell you how to do it there is a user manual if you're a reader then read i'm a button pusher so if there's something that I've see that I see on a screen that I've never used before, I'll push it. I'll see what it does, you know. And <clears throat> again, it may not be something that you'll ever need. If you have questions, especially especially if it's something that I'm showing you in a video, first of all, you can ask me, but I can't guarantee you that I can answer it because I um, probably just learned it. Like shortcuts, I'm doing a lot of videos on shortcuts right now. That's because I just discovered it. That same thing happened with reminders. As soon as I discovered reminders and that I wanted to use it, I did a lot of videos on reminders. So that's what makes me choose what to do a video on. It's what I learned today. So I'm not an expert on it, but I am excited about it and I want you guys to know about it. So that's how I do videos. Other people are way better at, first of all, way better at teaching. And um, they tend to stay more basic. I don't see too many people doing exactly what I do. Um, of course, I'm not out there searching, so I don't know. There might be 10 people doing it. Just know that Everybody that's doing it is very excited about Zoomnotes. We are all groupies, all right? So, okay, I'm going to hush now. And just, if you have a question, ask me if it's about a video that I've created. If you have a general Zoom Notes type question, you'll get 
probably faster answers if you go to the Zoom Notes group, if you're on Facebook because there's lots of people there to answer it, and they're a lot more smart about certain things. Uh, anyway, I hope I haven't confused you guys too much. I do get wordy when I'm um, excited. So I guess that's it. All right. Have a great day here. Bye.